send news. What is it? A jacket. It's so clean and soft and it looks brand new. Oh, cool. Come on, try it on. I want to see how it looks on you. What? Why? Because you can't wear a blanket all the time, silly. Why not? It's pretty warm. It's cozy. Toasty has a burrito in here. The jacket's warmer. Come on, put it on. Please, please, please. Okay, okay. Okay, give me a minute to adjust the blanket. <gasps> well, how do I look? Wow! You look so cool! But not as cool as me! Nah, not even half as cool. Feeling pretty warm, though. Ugh, Sans. If you're gonna make dumb jokes, I'm gonna take my blanket back. What if I decide to keep it? What then? You're the worst brother ever! Hey, Asriel. You ever wonder what you'll look like when you grow up? I know I'll grow up to be just like Dad! All strong, cool, with an awesome beard! <laughs> you know, I could do without the despondent look. You really thought puberty would be all sunshine and rainbows? Don't take it too personally. He still has to sleep with three nightlights. First, you swore you'd never tell anyone that! <laughs> And then, I just grabbed some Nutella, and they gave me the toilet paper, and put it on his hand. Oh my god, Sans, ew! I'm not allowed an Applebee's anymore. <clears throat> oh, worry, Groves, I wouldn't do that here. <sighs> so, how are you? What brought you here? Well, as soon as I turned 18, people insisted I had to study politics to stay an ambassador. And I saw there was a good university in this city. Guess what convinced me was that you guys are here. Oh, if it's the uni I work in, we'll see each other pretty often. Who's in charge while you're here? You remember Temmie? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, you didn't do that. Oh, come on! She finished college with honors. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you actually did! Miss Temmy, how will you take your four years as an ambassador? Uh, time for Tem to be... Serious Tem. Besides, she can't make any changes without my consent. <sighs> Good. For a moment there, I thought the country would be called Dem Village. A country isn't a village, you bonehead. Either is a room, and they called it that. Huh. We should get going. Mom's making butterscotch pie tonight. Sweet. Though, I'd like to show you a place first. We still got time, right? About half an hour? Good. Don't worry, I know a shortcut. <laughs> used to it. <laughs> Sorry, kiddo. You know, sometime after you freed us, I found this clearing. Everything looks amazing here. But somehow, echo flowers started growing. It's beautiful. There's nothing like this in the capital. Huh? Well, there's you. You should write that in capital letters. God damn it! <laughs> oh, come on, Sans. What? Doesn't Tori tell you bad puns like this? Speaking of her, why do you still call her mom? Something happened to the real one? Since I fell, I haven't known anything of her. I wonder if she's still looking for me. Forgot me, or... Or... I'm sure I'll see her again. I have a feeling it will be nice. Huh. Yeah. And what about yours? Uh. Your parents? Oh, uh... My mother's long gone. And 
My father disappeared in an accident. Can I ask what kind of accident? <sighs> then we should go back home now. Lori must be worried sick about you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. It's okay, kiddo. Just don't ask about it again. Oh, hey, Tori. How you doing? Hi, Mom. Huh? I told you they were on their way. You two better have a good explanation as to why you're late. It's not our fault. She told me we had to leave, but I insisted on staying. <sighs> okay. Just because it's the first time in five years you've seen her. But next time, I want her here on time. Ugh, <sighs> will do. Uh... <laughs> it was really nice of Toriel to make a pie for everyone. Looks like our things will take a week. Sorry for the bother. You're no bother. In fact, it will make my job as security guy easier. Looks like you have to stay in bad puns and movie nights for a week. Oh no, movies. My worst nightmare. Also, the mayor invited us to a dinner party to celebrate Frisk's arrival. Ooh, Ooh fancy. fancy. So, I thought of a girl's day out to buy some dresses. Yeah! Uh, uh. S sorry I, I thought this only happened in anime. Have fun, gals. When is it? Tomorrow night, so we'll go shopping in the morning. Oh, may I join in? Mm. This child needs a fashion advisor. Sorry, Metazon, but it will be girls only. I know you love pink, but that doesn't make you a girl. Well, being short is a girl trait. You wanna go, buddy? Can you two stop fighting for one day? Uh, I'm dying. C calm down. How did I agree to this? Thank you for coming, Sans, on such a short notice. Frisk and I are going out, and Kara didn't want to come. Ma, I don't need babysitting. I'm fine on my own. Uh, Tori? Maybe this isn't such a good idea. I'll stay home. Excellent. Let me gather my things. N no it's cool. It's not like I'm doing anything. Ma, please! No! No! Uh... So, what's up, kid? Well, besides the ceiling. Hmm. Oh, I see you still prefer to greet me with the silent treatment. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> hey, thanks for not telling Toriel about the incident. I get it if you want me to leave. No, don't leave. Uh, really? I'm just worried about you. You've been acting strange since the last reset. I guess that's my fault, though. I broke our promise, Sans. I'm so sorry. I th thought that I- Stop that. Don't sweat it, buddy. Um, Frisk? I'm not mad about any of that. Yeah, cause, you see, I just want us to be friends again. Like good old times. Before all of this junk. What do you say? That sounds nice. <sighs> we'll be back in no time. Have fun, you two! <sighs> Welp, guess it's just you and me, Brad. Whoa, you look really pissed off. I work hard to sabotage your reputation. Yeah, I noticed. It's not fair that you come by and try and fix it. Stop being all goody two-shoes with my big sibs. It's disgusting. Go back to hating each other. Then I won't have to see you again. Nah, I don't think I will after seeing you straight up stab them, you know? I mean, who would have thought that this pipsqueak was the one keeping everyone from their happy ending? <sighs> Screwing with people's data and stuff. Pipsqueak? Whatever. Not like you can do anything to stop me. Frisk will never forgive you if you hurt me. Yep, that's right. You're untouchable. Which is why... Hey! I ain't gonna lay a single bone on you. So this is how this is gonna work. I'm gonna scramble your insides if you don't throw me a bone. 
and tell me what I want to know, capiche? Good. Ah, Wrong answer, stop. kiddo. <laughs> Even if I tell you the truth, you have no proof. All of it is gone. I made sure of that. Welp, that's my problem. How about you tell me why you're doing all of this? Huh? Isn't it obvious? The fun will end, duh! But don't you want to go back to the surface? No! I didn't fall down here for no reason! I hate humanity! I wish that Azriel just did what I told him and everything would have been fine! Azriel? Huh? My lips are shut now. I won't say anything more. Are you crying, kid? No! I'm dizzy! You did just spin me like a record player! Seems like the tables have turned. Put me down! Why do you care so much, Sans, huh? I know the surface doesn't matter to you. Do you want to be the hero? There's no point in trying, you know. I already told you, there's no proof to anything I say. Give up. Leave me alone or else. In another time, I probably would have agreed with you. But now, I can't afford not to care anymore. I'll find a way to set everyone free. You just watch, brat. Starting with that name. Azrael. It sounds so familiar.